Hey guys, it's Dave here at Tactical Hive. I've got Dutch with me. I've got Dor with me. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about a very simple fire maneuver. Break contact! All right, guys, this is a very basic bare bones fire maneuver here. Uh, we're not getting into the, the technical aspects too much of it, just into fire maneuver, just what that is at the at the root root level. So I've got my my team here, they're gonna get into contact and we'll talk our way through it. All right, guys, here we are again. We got, we got Dutch and we have Door. They're moving forward. Now we're gonna do, like we always do in the military, crawl, rock, run. We're gonna do it dry first, right? So they're gonna work through their maneuver pieces here. As they make contact with this presumed enemy in the front, contact is made. They're going to seek cover and they're gonna return fire to known, likely, and suspected enemy threats. As they do, Door moves up to position of, of cover. Dutch is getting ready to move. He's already identified the next piece of cover he's moving to. Here what you see is Dutch is moving online with Door. This is called, this is called alternate bounty positions. It gives you the most command and control, but it's slowest and it consumes the most ammunition in doing so. They'll continue to move up side by side. Next, they'll go into alternate maneuver positions. So now Dutch will move past and take much larger gains in ground. It's a much faster than, than successive. Once Dutch is set, he's clear to move. And again, he's identifying where he wants to move to first before he rolls out of that cover concealed position. Now, once they get to the end of the fight, they have the option of either A, pushing through and fighting through the target and assaulting through. Or sometimes they may have bit off more than they can chew and they need to break contact. They'll do it in the same way. Door's gonna move first because he's the Lee element. You hear Dutch is ready to fire, pick up, covering Door's movement. Door starts shooting, that's an audible visual for Dutch to move. And you're basically talking your guns back and forth. What's crucial when you're doing these things is called stay in your lane. Like as you're moving forward or you're moving back, you'll hear it all the time. Stay in your lane, stay in your lane, stay in your lane. Because if you start crossing and not running straight back in the direction you were coming from, you run the risk of running into one of your, one of your elements' fire lines or gun, gun lines. It's a self-correcting problem. And they've effectively broke contact at this point. They're receiving no fire. They'll pick up and they'll tactically start moving back the same direction they came from. That's the general scheme maneuver. Again, this is a very base, base model, base bones drill. Getting into a position and getting out of a position tactically using alternate guns and talking your guns and using your positions to do so. All this information here, again, is, is found online easily. You'll find it in 21-76, that's the Ranger Handbook. You'll find it in 7-8, that's Squad Infantry Platoon Tactics and Drills. You go on YouTube and search Fire and Maneuver or Battle Drills. You'll find no shortage of open source information here that goes much deeper into detail. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kit up, let them run through it live fire, and we'll go from there. All right, here we are. We got Dutch and Door loaded up live, ready to go. So uh, we'll let them run through it and then uh, we'll just sit back and watch and uh, watch the action take place as it unfolds. So it's on you guys.
All right, go ahead and lock and clear, guys. Okay, so there you see it ran live. Okay, again, this is a canned range, obviously, with canned set positions, okay? But as you do these training evolutions, this brings up a lot of things that we talk about on the flat range and in the training that you can see now why it's so clearly important. Manipulating your weapon on safe, ensuring your weapon's on safe. You know, ensure that you're not flagging people as you're running up and down. You see the level of control, even here in a controlled environment, that they have to show with weapon safety and weapon retention so that they can do this and, and train safely, right? All those little things, those little devils in the details we, we harp on the range, this is where they start to come into really clear view on why it's so crucially important to be safe and train safe, right? You can do these things. These things are easy to do and they're safe to do. They bring out a lot of small little issues with kit and just gun manipulation and gun safety across the board. So if you like what you see, uh, you wanna see more of it, you know, hit the bell, give us a like, share the page. By all means, please send your comments. Most of all guys, thanks for watching. See you later.